Cancer and welcome to the Green Woman Tarot. This is your weekly reading for the third week of October 2020. So that's from the 12th to the 18th of October. And it's a general reading just to see what sort of energies are around you at this time. To see what's on the cards for you. But before we delve into the tarot reading... I need to consult the oracle and I'll use this unnamed deck from the Witchwood oracles to draw a couple of cards for you to start the reading off with. So let's see what words of wisdom the mysterious oracle has for cancer for the third week of October 2020. What messages are here for Cancer for the third week of October? Messages for Cancer. What does Cancer need to know? Let's just draw a couple of cards. Let's see what you get. You have the comb denoting confidence. And you have the bell <laughs> celebration. It's almost like it's time to, to um, get yourself tarted up. There's something to celebrate. Um, something that perhaps boosts your confidence. Um, you know, I get just a sense of feeling pretty. Um, something that enhances your um, well-being, your sense of well-being and something to celebrate. Lovely. But let's see um, what the rest of the reading shows. So let's see what's on the cards for Cancer. For the third week of October 2020. Oops. What messages are here for Cancer for the third week of October? What does Cancer need to know at this time? So I will do a four card spread for you again, Cancer, and the first card will reveal um, you, where you are. The, the second card shows your challenges at this time. The third card shows the guidance from spirit that you may receive, and then the final card reveals your possible outcome. And I'll put an underlining row of cards beneath that to act as clarification. So, let's see what you get. Oh, you have judgment. You've been called. Right, time to rise up. Then your challenge is the chariot. And then your advice from spirit is the moon. And then finally, the Knight of Cups. And beneath that you have the Six of Pentacles, Temperance. And the Three of Cups. And the Lovers <laughs> under the Knight of Cups. <laughs> Definitely something to get tarted up for. Hey? Um, and beneath the deck you have the Four of Swords. Wow. So it seems with the judgment card depicts you um, rising up from feeling somewhat downbeat and under undervalued. Um, rising up to stand in a new light. 
reinventing yourself. Um, there's also a need for a sense of balance. You've got that um, in this card as well. There's a need for a sense of balance. And um, in rising up, I get a sense you're finding you're able to tap into certain resources that help you in a practical way. Um, perhaps through an act of kindness, someone lending a helping hand, you re-emerging from a time of stasis, a time of resting, uh, of stillness, where although it may have felt very um, inert and dead, you really were recuperating and uh, recovering from something and perhaps even gaining a new perspective on things and seeing um, the, a bit of colour coming back into your world, a bit of light after... Um, having laid down arms that and by that I mean you know perhaps there's been for some of you a lot of um, bickering it's the word that just springs to mind um, difficulties in relating in communications and this um, has you've sort of like this has ended you've you've decided to to retreat from that and take some time out and in doing so you've been able to recuperate and um, re-energize and here you are rising up again ready to um, meet a new day with a sense like new hope and a new dawning is coming your way but your um, challenges at this time is to maintain the sense of balance um, and to take on this new role, take on this new image for yourself, with perhaps this, with a renewed sense of confidence and um, feeling pretty again, and um, sort of use it in a productive, forward-moving manner, to um, take hold of the reins of your life and drive forward, and that's entailing leaving something behind again leaving something behind um, and feeling, you know, blessed, feeling that you are on the right path. This is your challenge. But, you know, with the yin and yang colours of the, um, the sphinxes that drive the chariot or pull the chariot, that depicts a need for a sense of balance. Um, and that's shown in the temperance as well. Um, I get a sense of like having to incorporate two opposite energies to create something, to create a new path for yourself as well. Um, maintaining a steady grounding for yourself, um, a sure footing for yourself, but at the same time dipping into unknown waters as you move forward on a new path. And that's, a, that's the difficulties for you, finding the balance and, um, and the, the leaving behind that it may entail. So your advice from spirit is to embrace this new path, um, even though it may be, a, you know, unclear and may, you may feel a bit um, cautious, a bit unsure because things are unclear at the moment but um, as a guidance card it sort of shows it's sort of um, a, a karmic path you're on here this meant to be it's you know part of a bigger picture which will unfold itself in time but um, to embrace that use your intuition and um, Allow yourself some freedom by tapping into your ins true wild self, your instinctive self, um, and delve into the depths of this exciting new journey that you could well be embarking on. Um, the Three of Cups indicates that it will bring you to something that you can celebrate and, and not only 
that, but it will um, it promises support from your kin, from your tribe, um, people cheering you on, um, supporting you as you you take this new path. Um, and perhaps you could read into it on another level, it's sort of indicating that it's time to let your hair down a bit or to put it up, pin it up and um, hit the town, <laughs> have some fun, celebrate, enjoy, enjoy things because this is very romantic cancer and offers coming your way, possible offers coming your way. Um, this is something that is um, intensely emotional and sincerely given. Will it though last be something of long standing and um, stability the lovers beneath it depicts that yes this is well this is something blessed it's connected with your rising up again these both of angel cards um, this is something that can um, involve a um, well something that can bring you to a, a solid and um, secure bonding, a good union, a blessed union, whether it's romantic or work-related or simply friendship or family matter, but there certainly seems to be an offer coming your way. Um, and that entails love. Um, the Knight of Cups is your this is the one that girls love to have in their readings. It denotes romance. But it's... Underlining card is the lovers, which is about a deeper, more meaningful love. So this offer could be something that develops into something of long-standing depth and um, a solid, secure bond. Certainly something to celebrate. So there you have it, um, Cancer. This is all very exciting, really. It's sort of like you're rising up from, from a time of having stepped out of the limelight, stepped out of the busyness um, in, in order to heal, to recuperate, and um, finding yourself on a new path that you feel is challenging because it takes you away from something that has previously been secure and um, it requires um, a balance of energies of two, you know, the, the pulling together of two different energies in order to branch out on a new path and you're advised to um, delve into that to, to 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 go through with it even though you feel um, you may feel insecure and things may be um, uncertain at the minute but you know following your intuitive drives your intuitive desires um, and you you may find that you your path is supported and celebrated and that you have the love and support of your kin and it may that path may well bring you to a possible offer that's connected to a, a, a um to, that's connected to some sort of love and affection and is sincerely and passionately given and underlining it is the possibility that it could lead to a deep and meaningful bond um, the the coming together of two opposites and you know your oracle cards suggest that there will be something to celebrate this is you know the bells ringing in joy and a sense of renewed confidence something to get dressed up for very nice so there you have it cancer i hope you enjoyed your reading and that it resonated with you and if so please remember to hit the like share and subscribe buttons 
and have yourself a good week and God bless you till we meet again.